abs on your cock. Ooh. Welcome to episode number seven. Hang on, you can't say Have that. Have you ever had a scab on your facline? I did crash my bike once and got a little nick on my dick. See? And now we're it. talking, and now we're talking about it. I've got a huge addiction to picking scabs. Now we've ruined all our <laughs> the start of the podcast, man. It needs to be nice and PG. Cock and is a uh, rooster, a rooster, bro. Yeah. So anyone listening from a YouTube, a cock is a rooster, bro. You know what feels good to say, and you have to try it. Cock. Cold hard cock. Say that. Cock. Fucking episode number fucking nine, cunt. That's fucking wild, cunt. We're nearly a quarter of the fucking way through the fucking year already, cunt. Almost. Brown nose or... Man, it's been a wild start to the year. We've got a grand packed episode for you right now, all right? This is the first Monday that Matt's... They were filming on a Monday right now, and it's not like night time. It's so nice. Yeah. And um, we, we fucking... Um, We've yeah, we've got more time on the podcast now, so it's it's very nice. It's a fecline. Huh? How are you, Matt? Struggling. Are you enjoying three days of like no romance? <laughs> Concrete. Um. Yeah. Does it feel like you? you f- are they going to be upset with you if they know that? What that you that you don't miss them? Oh, I don't know. Have you tell us question. some? Has anything gone down lately at the fucking tower? No, not really. Has anyone, Has anyone pissed died? you off? Has anyone got Yeah, hurt? I get annoyed by people every day. Are they like... Uh, just, nobody's been hurt though. Have they... Is, is some bitch some done some dumb shit yet? Yeah, most days. Can you tell me one of them? Not really, just in case. Just one. That a generalized thing that everyone does so then they don't know pinpoint who it was. Oh, No. Oh man Well we've got a jam packed episode bro We've got Matt's Tinder adventures We've got Matt vs Michael we got the Who's the Better Brown we got prank calls are back Sorry about the prank call for last week We didn't even realise the audio was fu- It fucking randomly cut out Right before the prank call I don't even know what the fuck happened So, But it was a pretty shit prank call So you're not really missing out on much So I don't stress cunt Prank calls back this week um, and, um, and, and just everything's back bro Everything's back and ready to fucking roll. What have we done in the last week? We had a week off last week and we golfed a fair bit. I played golf four times. I had a golf lesson. I had a golf lesson and now my game is fucked. Why? Literally like, it's like you stuck in old habits. You change those old habits and oh, then you're, and you're shit again. Are you trying to change to the new habits and it's Yeah, ruining. well, it's like slight changes, but fuck the stance. I was bending my knees too much, like a stupid swan. Yeah. And now like Yeah anyway Amber's playing amazing She hit like 150 metres With a 7 iron <laughs> Anyway so. Um, so yeah Last week Fucking um, Oh yeah uh, Heart update Went to the new cardiologist Last week On the Wednesday And um, Showed him the little uh, The flutters and shit That I caught on that Event recorder thing And he says That um, there It's nothing to worry about and um, but he does want to check my high blood pressure, so I got to go. Oh, I'm off the currently off the high blood pressure medication for two weeks because the high blood blood pressure medication affects the blood tests. So I'm off for two weeks. Get a blood test. Get a CT scan of my fucking chest, and then I'll go back on the high blood pressure medication. But it, it, I didn't ask him if it was psychological the, causing the high blood pressure because apparently cardiologists don't really ever think that way. They're just strictly medical. Will you but, actually ask him at some point? Yeah, well, I got another cardiologist I'm going to, the one I actually got told to go to, like a really good one that was booked out for like months in advance. So I'm just going to ask all my remaining questions for him. And um, But yeah, it's looking more and more likely that it's just stress and anxiety. Thank fucking fuck, cunt. So I'm just going to start exercising tonight. And oh, and I apparently I have a, yeah, a, milk, a, a dairy allergy. And I've, so I've cut dairy out heaps and it's also made a difference. My heart doesn't beat so fucking crazily after meals. So it could have been that as well. How do you know you have a dairy allergy? Like, is they just... I went to the naturopath it? and he did this weird test on me, but I'm going to confirm it with proper testing. I reckon, you don't show that. I reckon no one's really meant to eat dairy. Yeah, it's meant it. for baby cows, really. But like, so I guess you that. can have it like the pure form of it, like how it's meant to be had, but, you know, cheeses and milk and shit goes so processed. But yeah, anyway... Yeah. So that's the latest, but it's looking better and better, everyone. So that's good. I did try and have a small, like first time in like 40 days, I had a a little sprinkle, like literally a little sprinkle of weed in a little pipe, smoked it, and then nearly an immediate panic attack, which also tells me that it's 
probably psychological because that's ne- I've never had that shit before. Yeah, I reckon maybe try. Could, I'm just going to leave it now. I'm just yeah. not going to touch anything until I feel better mentally because I still just am super anxious randomly. I Without, reckon smoking I it too up. hits you so quickly. I wake up and I'm fucking like anxious. And I was like, why, why am I anxious? What are you I'm, anxious about? I, exactly, nothing. There's nothing I'm thinking about. It's just like I'm just stressed and anxious for no reason. So that tells me that it's probably a lot psychological. So I just got to fix that shit up and then hopefully the blood pressure comes down and then... In, Six months time will be the fucking healthiest man alive, you fucking cunt. So if you're anxious or depressed or... Stressed, it will affect your heart eventually. Everyone's here with you. Exactly right. Hey, Brown. Say it. Brown. What have you got? What have you got for everyone? Show them what you found. We got a P.O. box today too. Oh, we have a P.O. box. Yes, that's what I found. (laughs) That's what I fucking found, cunt. All right, that's our fucking shit talk, and fucking here we go on all the sponsors. You fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. God, I can't wait to go to this chair. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty comfy though. I it's promise you, it's fine. Where does it hurt? Just you relax. guys have zero idea of what I go through. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, just put your arms up. I can't because your balls and everything just starts hurting. Uh, like lean and back. your knees hurt, and everything hurts. <laughs> and. Uh, just leave me alone. Okay. I don't want you anything from you guys anymore. <laughs> oh, Matt's Tinder adventures are so fun. Yeah, I'm not excited about Matt's that. Been, I, haven't, I haven't heard him yet. I can't wait. I, all I, I hope was, Marty's just been pissing himself. I, 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 I run it by James and I gauge how much he laughs, and he didn't laugh anywhere near as much as I did. But I just, I, it just fucking makes me laugh so much. Just picturing what they must be thinking reading these messages. <laughs> 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 Have you got my Instagram attached to it? <laughs> no. Can we? I oh, know. Just, I just. Yeah, I just it's probably best not to because yeah. they might like start outing you on like Tinder. Exactly. Group chats I'll be in, surely I'll be in that <laughs> Tinder nightmares in no time. <laughs> Dude, no. Yeah, fucking hell. If if anyone sees Matt Brown in those Tinder nightmares, please send those screenshots in. <laughs> oh man, surely it's only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh, anyway, someone's gonna oh, see we, me. We set up two dates for him this Sunday. Yeah, and it was what was my answer to both? No, no one, no. And I like to funnel them Sick to his fights. Snapchat. So, like, we're doing, it's working. We're, we're going oh. through the numbers, getting the girls, You're and getting options. funneling them to Matt. And it's up to him whether he wants to do anything with that. But I think that's the best thing to hand you girls on a silver platter. We push them your you, way. And then you can choose what, what to do with them. You can toss that silver platter into a urinal and shit in the urinal. Or you can take the gift that we're offering you and learn feel to love. Up. You might feel it up. It's not a gift. Well, well it looks comfy now. No, it's just, what, what do <laughs> Why don't you get a little chair or something as well? What do you mean get a little chair? You got like a little like chair to sit on as well. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. This is the chair. Just so it's not so, like, stretched. I feel like standing. Yeah, you can stand too. You're just speaking to the microphone. The, the camera will be, um... <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll adjust the camera. <laughs> it's only when I, um... It's only when I, um... All right, well, that's that's Matt now. He's going to be standing. <laughs> <laughs> also, Bosley turned 10 last week, guys. Bosley! So, happy birthday, Bosley. He Boz. can still hear, so... Yeah, he's a good boy, eh? He had Such a, a injury board. today. Yeah, he slipped a bit. Anyway, sponsors, 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 sponsors. Oh, we didn't fucking do a thing for them. All right, guys. Athletic Greens, man. Are you getting a bit fat and you're realizing shit's breaking down and you're in your fucking early 30 to mid 30s and you, you're fucking, you're like, what the fuck's going on? You don't recover as fast as you used to and you're starting to get cancers and shit. Well, fucking take Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is full of 75, 75 vital mineral, minerals and nutrients, right, that fucking fixed you up good cunt. The creator of them had this huge stomach issue and he fine-tuned this formula and he's off all medication and we have it and we feel great. It is an injection of energy. It is delicious and it extends your life probably, bro. It's green. It's like a healthy energy drink. Yeah, it's like you, you, you. It makes up for all the shit that you miss. So you can go and have your steak, sanger, and chips, and oh, don't worry about the salad. That's okay. Have your athletic greens, you fucking pig. Yeah, you know, if you got a case of beer, just put that green shit, which is what it is, in your body. In your beer. Yeah, 
Or in the beer, bro. Just cut out the middle, man, you dickhead. Helps with hangovers. And just if you're bendering, you want some good shit going in. And it's just so easy. You just pour one of the powders in a cup and you fucking skull it and you're done for the day, bro. It's your, it's your fucking salad, cunt. It prolongs, oh. the, <laughs> it prolongs the bender. If you, yeah, some people, you know, most people I've found in my time, by about 5 a.m., they like, oh, I can't go anymore, man. I'm good to bed. Half a lath, if they yeah have an athletic greens, they can go for the rest of the day at least. Use our discount code athleticgreens.com slash fully actual. You get a free travel pack. All right, it's a subscription you sign up to. I think it's like $130 Australian a month or something, which may sound like a lot. But if you fucking think about it, it's not that much. You get you get it shipped to you, you don't have to worry about it. It's one glass a day of actual really healthy shit. And I can guarantee you it's, it gets absorbed by your body because I had blood tests done after I'd been taking athletic greens for a long time and my vitamins were through the roof. The doctor literally pointed out and goes, oh, yeah, you actually, all your shit's pretty good. Oh, and your vitamin D is through the roof. 50 is good. Your vitamin D levels, mine was 60 fucking five. And vitamin D is so important for every function of your fucking body, cunt. So fucking get it down your gut. It's from you fucking the cunt. It's from the sun. And people have been commenting saying how delicious it is. It is so yum. We're running out, so I really want some more, please. Yeah, we're gonna. I'll quickly email them tomorrow. Man. Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens. Dot com. com. Slash fully actual. Slash fully actual. I can All right. All right. What do we got now? Huh? We got uh, <laughs> you. You're back. What was that? <sighs> All right, everyone, listen up. Okay, you're sitting there. You're sitting there and look, I don't even know how to how to explain this in another way. You're ruining your life. You're not you're not reaching you're not you're not where you could be. You don't even realize how good you could have it right now. But every day you just do the same shit. You go to work, oh, have a pie, have a fucking cake of colour at work. You fucking lazy piece of shit. You come home, oh, I'll have a beer, have a bit of dinner, <laughs> sit on the couch, <clears throat> oh, I'll have a shower tomorrow. <clears throat> no fucking friends, no fucking girls to talk to. You look at your bank account, and you got no money in it. <clears throat> The only way to start crawling out of the pit that you've dug for yourself is to go to manscaped.com. Get their fucking grooming products. It all starts with a small decision to buy one of their ball trimmers or your fucking back hair trimmers. You start grooming yourself. You watch how your mind changes, cunt. You look at yourself differently in the mirror. The way you talk to yourself changes. The way people look at you changes. Women will start staring and looking at you thinking, oh, he must have his shit together. He's got his back chest shaved. Small steps lead to sex. Small steps will lead you to sex and sex will lead you to salvation. Fucking go to manscaped.com slash fully actual 20 for 20% off. 20% off, okay? Just fucking don't have like three beers this weekend and you can buy something that will change your life. Stop being a scum slut. Fuck for a while. Fuck for a while. Go and have some fucking fun and shave your fucking sweater off. It'll you give you a smile. Fucking hair. Look how hairy you are. Your legs all up your body. Yuck. No one's going to want to touch you. No one's even going to want to look at you, let alone marry you. Do something. Do something. <sighs> Fucking pigs. Have <laughs> sex for money. Have sex for money and use that to pay pay for manscaped. Sell drugs. Oh. Sell Steal. drugs. Steal from the elderly. Steal. Start scams. You can start a pyramid scheme. Make some extra cash to pay for it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe get an island and start a little like show a there. Prostitution farm. <laughs> a prostitution farm on an island and uh -huh. use that money to shave your back. <laughs> Yes, Matt. They need to be told. 
It's also <laughs> for women, and women, you got it much easier. Less hair, plus all you can need to do is spread your legs and people throw cash at you, so there's no excuse for you to not go to Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> also for women they've even got a new trimmer it's like even better upgraded one kind whipper snipper whipper snipper or some shit and it's in coles and woolies i bet i did see some manscape products they've got a nose coles. trimmer too i nose, love the nose bro trimmer. they've got for every hair on your body they've got something to rip it out cunt it makes doing lines so much easier Oh man, the thick, fresh lines we've been inhaling ever since we trimmed our nose hairs. Well, not for it's a while, ridiculous. But yeah, man, come the holidays, it makes it easier. Holy shit, dude. Manscaped. Read a book. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I'm 78 days, haven't had a drink or any drugs, apart from us, like, a, what, we? I don't really count weed. I've had weed. 40 days ago You know it's literally A month to your bucks Yeah it's fucked Yeah it's It'll be about 110 days No drinking I've realised I don't know if it's a good idea To go No drinking for Four months nearly And then, and then Go to a binge. buck <laughs> Imagine if your yeah, body's just in shock Well what if I just like well, Pass out like night Does, does that I wanna, stress your body I guess Well just you pace you yourself hard. Don't go hard You know Yeah what it's mean? gonna be hard though At a yeah. bucks Yeah well like That's what I wanna talk to you about Considering your bucks it was like do we like let's we can eliminate the other forms of alcohol no, no I don't want everyone else to not have fun just because I oh no uh, that's that's just fine I, th I think there's some people coming who are already bringing shit yeah well yeah well, so we'll see how about we just do cat the whole time <laughs> imagine that I hate cat <laughs> Matt would hate that <laughs> But um, oh. yeah, so I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. You know, it's still a month away. See how me fucking shit's going. But yeah, it's a the weed, the weed experiment last night was was quite um scary. But hopefully, surely alcohol won't do that. Well, yeah, I wonder if it's like because you smoked it, it hits you so quickly. I've been enjoying the cookies because it's like a gradual thing. And yeah, but I'm scared intense. though that they're imagine not intense, intense ones. Yeah, yeah, but like imagine if I fucked it and it did get intense, and then I'm stuck. The good thing about smoking, I was like, oh, worst case scenario, it's the bad shit is done after half an hour. Yeah, I guess it's no your your quantities because say like if you do a pipe, it hits you so quickly. But if you've got these cookies that are weak strength, like I'd say the the cookies are like one less than one pipe. And it just lasts a little bit longer, but it's just really chilled. Anyway. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll see. I'll, I'll see how we that. go. See how we go, Matt. You were, you were coming to the Bucks? Aren't you, Matt? Are you going to do shit there or are you just going to be, are you going to be concrete? Um, concrete. <laughs> yeah. My dick kind of moved then. <laughs> oh, brown. My oh. brown. Brown, oh, man. brown, brown. Fuck me. Well, look, that sponsor... Wow, did you shit? No, oh, I like it. I did not. It's next. So got fucking... All right, guys. There's a bear in there. Let's move along. We've got a massive episode. Fucking strap yourselves in. we got horoscopes. Push... Hit it, Matt. Horoscopes. <laughs> We've got intros for all the segments now. Matt and Michael sat in here today and fucking got them all. Can't so exciting, Zach. Can't we finally got a bit of time to do the podcast? We're not rushing you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Taurus. All right. This segment is where I compile all of the horoscopian experts and I come up with this horoscope, which is so accurate. You fucking. It's like 100% accurate, bro. Especially Matt. Can you please just... This is for Taurus. <sighs> Be nasty to the elderly this week as Earth spins heaps faster than usual. The extra gravity will make it feel like you're being sucked off. Concentrate on stem cells. Break neck. <laughs> Julian. So Deep fuck roadkill because Jupiter. Blame others for any mistakes you make and see what time the trains finish up tonight. Spray paint a detailed nutsack on your rental place and let a bloke suck you off in Stanthorpe. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. 
That's he a- is going to Stanthorpe this week. And we've been to Stanthorpe. Yeah. When did we? Oh, we went camping. You love Stanthorpe. You've yeah. mentioned that many times. Oh, man. Let's go camping again, boys. And that's favourite place is Stanthorpe. Not Sorry. going near a campsite with you guys ever. <laughs> oh, that's right. We made it hell for you. I forget. Dude, forget. That was a rough night, man. Oh, f- I made you it, made it No, us. we made it rough for everyone. Yeah, we burnt everything. Except for James. He, we didn't burn his stuff. Yeah, he's smart. He separates himself from us with yeah. that sleeping shit. Well, Matt tried to, but his tent got dragged away by a car. Cracker milk destroyed my tent. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. All right. <sighs> Matt's horoscope. Just read my horoscope. I don't want uh, another story. I had two Magnum ice creams packed into my mouth. I sucked and licked as the ice cream melted. Mm. Magnum's my favorite. The ice cream dribbled down my chin and my tongue flopped out of my mouth and swept it up. This was my eighth and ninth Magnum of the day. The park I was in was quite busy and nearby a family dog caught scent of my delicious cool treat. It bounded over to me. I had some Magnum on my hand and offered it to the friendly little doggy. It cautiously stepped forwards and sniffed. It eagerly licked my hand clean. Its tongue was warm and soft, yet slowly abrasive. It applied an even amount of force, not too hard and not too soft. An idea popped into my silly, bald head. I looked at my remaining magnum and down at the hungry doggy. I wonder. Without a second thought, I sneakily undo my pants. I flip my flaccid little brown out through my zipper. I slide the remaining ice cream off its stick and pack it generously around my cock meat. Once my flesh stick was completely coated in ice cream, I lean forwards and offer it to the dog. The dog looks confused. Here, boy. Come on. Come and have some ice cream. The dog is tentative, but again moves forwards. Its wet little nose makes contact. Its tongue lashes out and wipes stripes of ice cream straight off my pleasure steak. I get rock hard within seconds. I feel the warm tongue break through the ice cream and it feels incredible. Oh yeah. I lean back in my seat and enjoy my rock hard magnum covered cock sways from side to side as the tongue of the dog works its way around the shaft. <clears throat> I feel my ball bag harden. Then, Marshall! <whistles> Come here, boy! The owners of the dog had spotted us. Uh, He's fine. I just spilled some ice cream and he's sucking me off. The owners of the dog look at each other confused. Marshall, here, now! Don't go, Marshall. I'm nearly there. Mar- Shut up! I interrupt his call. Let your dog be! The owner starts storming over towards us. Marshall was nearly done. He was licking the ice cream caught under the edges of my knob, and it felt unreal. The owner of the dog was close and suddenly saw what I was doing. His eyes and mouth widened in shock. His eyes met mine, and I scream at him. At the same time, my firm balls tightened, and a jet-powered stream of ejaculate rocketed out out of the tip of my little brown and into the dog's snout. (laughs) My stream reaches the dog's owner, and he started screaming. I minced and minced and minced as my body contorted uncontrollably. (laughs) Finally, I finished, and the dog had run away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, get over it, cunt. It's just a bit of fun. I might get a pet dog now. And I bound him backwards home. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> I love that. I love it when you get mad, Brown. Very dismissive, Brown. <laughs> oh. Oh. I remember I told a girl once, and you were there, and I think we were out in the town, she was having a whinge about something I did, and I just said, Get over it! <laughs> Matt. And fucking. <laughs> there was the same sort of anger came out. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway. Oh, so that was very, 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 very. Uh, all right. Moving right along to Who's the Better Brown? Oh. You lose! All 
right. And this segment, it is up to a staggering $1,200 this week. All right. So we have found another Brown out in the world, someone with the last name Brown, and he will be pitted against our Matt Brown. And whoever gets the most trivia questions correct about Brown will win. And if Matt wins, it goes up to $1,400 for next week. If Sam wins, he gets $1,200 cash today. What do That's I, more than like radio stations. That's crazy. We're better bro. than radio. What do I have to do to before I get some cash? You get, if two you get grand. to two grand, Fuck, you pocket so that two grand and it starts at 200 again. Um, holy shit. Bro. All right, this guy's called Sam Brown, which we've had a Sam, we literally had a Sam Brown on before. I hope it's not the same guy. All right, Brown, are you getting nervous? No. This is $1,200 on the line. I was born brown. All right, we're going to call Sam Brown and see what happens here. Is it a girl, Sam, or a boy? I, 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 I. Okay, fair enough. <gasps> it's ringing, it's ringing. Oh, oh, man. Did you warn him? Hey, how you going? Oh, Sammy, you're on the Martin Michael Fully Actual Podcast, and we've got our okay. own brown stand sitting next to us, bro. Oh. Um, we've had a Sam Brown on before. You're not the same Sam Brown, are you? No, I fucking wish, mate. This is this is first time on. Dude, this there are so many Browns out there. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I know we're strong. Dude, are you, we're do you strong. guys are you guys like you guys might know each other? Telepathy. What? Where's he? Where's he from? Yeah, what what part of the Brown world are you from, Brown? Gold, I'm from the Gold Coast. <laughs> oh no, nah, fuck that. I'm from Perth, mate. You still might be because oh. the Browns breed so, so yeah. much. The Browns are like rabbits; they'll yeah. spread. They breed. We do, mate. We do. It's fucking insane. All right, Sam, you know how this works, right? If you get more yeah. brown questions right, you get $1,200 today. And that's Holy fucked. Holy shit. That's fucked. All right. Good, oh, good, luck. Good, luck. good luck to both right. of you browns. Good luck, Sam. Oh, All right, let's go. First crazy. brown question. In 2018, British car manufacturing brand David Brown was selling their Speedback GT available in the colour brown for what price? Oh. Oh. Who answers first? We'll throw it to you first, Sam. Oh, can I get a repeat of the question? Yes, you can. In 2018, British car manufacturing brand David Brown was selling their Speedback GT available in the colour brown for what price? Oh, I'm going to say... Fifty-five thousand. Fifty-five thousand. All right. What do you say, Brown? I'm gonna go sixty thousand. The answer. Oh, he would. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Is five hundred and thirty-four thousand pounds. <laughs> pounds. Oh, wow. Very expensive. It's like a million-dollar fucking car. Uh, half a million. Mate. What am I? No, that's doing? pounds. Sorry. Oh yeah, it is to us. Holy shit! Wow. All right, That's Matt nice. Brown I takes an that. early lead with some very oh. Weasley, snaky tactics. Oh. But Matt yeah, will have to yeah, that, Matt that, will that, have to yeah, answer that, that, this question questionable. first. All right, oh, so yeah, Matt, you have to answer this one first. All right, question number two. It's currently one nil to Matt. If you put on a brown shirt, sit on a brown chair, and type the word brown into Google, how many search results will you get? Matt Brown, you're first. Could you repeat the question? If you put on a brown shirt, sit on a brown chair, and type the word brown into Google, how many search results will you get? Um, I'm going to go 1,400,000 search results. All right, Sam, what do you think? Oh, I reckon more. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 15, I'm going to say 15 billion. 15 billion. 15 billion. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I'm not messing around here. Have you got your phone up right now, Sam, and you just Googled that? Uh, no, mate. I'm at work currently serving a customer. Well, the answer is 17 billion, 610 million. Even. <laughs> Holy Crazy. fuck. All right. Man, there's a now. lot of Sorry, brown that, results. Dude, so man, many brown. Man, I'm telling you, I'll just, you got to just use simple math. Brown chair, brown shirt, brown. 16 <laughs> mil. 16 bill, sorry. It's, the math sorry. sounds right. It does sound right. Holy all right, shit, that, that's one all. It's one all going into question three. All right, here we go. 
British furniture shop Lord Brown's Furniture sells a lovely tan brown leather sofa suite with two brown armchairs. How many pounds is it for this whole brown set? Sam, we throw it to you first. Oh, oh God, you, you've got me stumped here. So I'm going to have to say... Yeah. Um, or I'm going to say... Five hundred thousand pounds. Five hundred thousand pounds for the tan brother leather sofa suite with two brown armchairs. All right, Matt, what do you say? You said five hundred thousand, mate. You, you, I'm going off all the other questions. I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm I'm in the ballpark here. I was gonna I'm gonna say like five thousand pounds. All right, the answer is 6,900 pounds. Matt has taken oh the lead. God, Brown. Oh, my God. Brown knows his brown leather fucking oh, furniture. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's like a tiny bit disturbing, though, don't you think? Yeah, oh, dude. Don't even get me started on how disturbing oh. this cunt is here. Fucking fucking yeah, oh, fucks, cunt. I can <laughs> feel it through the phone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, 2-1 to Matt Brown. Oh, uh, right, yuck. I'm about to lose. <laughs> Question number th- uh, four, and Matt will have to answer this one first. Mm-hmm. All right. The brown banded bamboo shark has light brown coloring with dark brown bands that cover its brown body. How long can this brown shark survive out of the water? How many hours? <laughs> oh, man. Like one hour? All right, Matt Brown says oh, one hour. He's he's sneaky. I see what he's trying to do. I reckon it's two hours. Oh, Shit, it's gonna be close. All right. Oh my god. The answer. Surely it can't be that long. Is twelve hours? It's too wow. old. It is too old. Twelve hours. Oh my god. It's always close. Oh my the god. The are like in sync. I'm in your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's Funny too old. This is for fucking real Shit, cash, cunt. This is crazy, crazy. All right, final fucking question. Sam, you will have to answer first. All right. Here Sam, we go. I'll okay, see you on the other let's side, go, brother. Boy. Let's fucking go. <sighs> Coles have stores in Brown Beach. Brown Hill, Brown Range, Browns Plains, and Brown Low. In which state is the Brown Low store? Which state? Yes. That would be South Australia. All right, Matt. You can either go the same state or choose a different state. I'm going to go Victoria. The answer. Is South Australia Sam yeah, Brown yeah, wins? He's done it. He's won yeah. twelve hundred rounds. Twelve hundred pounds. Wow. 1200 no. pounds. <laughs> Holy shit, mate! You must feel so no. good. What are you going to spend the money on? Oh my god! Oh my! No, wait! You're fucking around. Is this for real? Dude, you yeah, just won put... fucking twelve hundred dollars. Doing this to speak to the boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking insane. Oh. You've just... oh my god! Oh. I'm gonna. Buy a large amount of Cheech and Chong and get to work, mate. Oh, that's <laughs> <sounds> good. <laughs> of course. I um, just wanted to say, absolute honour to speak to you all. Massive fucking fan. And yeah, good just to be a part of it, eh? Appreciate Sam. you coming on, Sam. Matt's got something to say. Yes, mate. I'm glad you won. Quick, my, all right, guys, that's the end of the brown thing. And now it's the time for a bung break. Everyone go and smoke drugs. And we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, guys. It's time for the most powerful segment that anyone's ever done done for. Can you push the button for it? Matt Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come. Oh, who wants to come? Come have fun. Come have fun. Bottle of cum. And this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head and they fight for the most valuable possession that we have created in Matt's 
churning ball sack. We have a huge bottle of mints, and whoever is winning this segment by the end of the season will get to keep it and do with it whatever they please. It's 5-3 to me, just saying. Is quietly. it 5-3? It's a maths competition. Oh, I'm so shit at maths. Oh, man, I used to, yeah, like, I yeah, don't know any number thing. You used to be all right? I like, I've never been good. No, I never, ever. I went from mass C to mass B to mass A to numeracy to just get the fuck out of my class. At least you were in mass C once. Yeah. I've always just been mass. I thought I was smarter than I was. Um, so I'm just going to say a sum, and you guys have to, the first correct answer wins. If you yell out early and it's an incorrect answer, the other person has five seconds to give an answer. Okay. Fuck. And if that's wrong, then it goes five seconds back to the other person. Fuck, I'm nervous. Well, it's first to five correct answers. Oh, my God. It's going to take so long. No. <sighs> okay. All right. Thinking cap on. All right, the first question. Have your mics handy? Do we buzz it? No, we just say it. Yeah, just, yeah, just sing out. <clears throat> Eight times seven. 35. 42. Both wrong. Keep going. 54. 38. 64. Hang on. Are you like eight, taking eight them turn seven. for turn? Yeah, turn for turn. Or is yellow numbers out? Fuck. My brain hurts when I think. 36? No. What, what was it? What was the what fucking was question? Eight, eight times seven. It's Michael's turn. Um. Look, I'm going to say 54. No. Uh, 64. No. 52. No. 68. No. 58. Nope. 72. No. 48. 74. No. no. 60. 60. No. 8 times 7. 60. Oh, dude, it hurts. Oh, wait, I've got it in my head. It is. It is uh, 56. Yes, 56. Oh. I swear I said 56 at the beginning. Yeah, I said 54. Oh, I thought, no, Man, I'm pretty I sure he so said 56. Oh. Wow, this, I, I had no idea you guys were both <laughs> that bad at maths. This will take a while. Yeah, I thought maybe just do that off the one and Michael wins. What's no, with the attitude? Matt. You can't be like, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'll give up. Yeah, Matt, come on. So you got to try. I'm just that about, is so, that's like a victim mentality. I'm all about time management. <laughs> I'm Man. just accepting. No, this is funny seeing you guys oh, struggle ugh. to do basic maths. All right, what is <clears throat> 33 plus 19? 52. Michael, he has it. Oh my god, I'm good! Yes! 2 0. <clears throat> 32 9 times 8. Um, 88. No. 78. No. Uh, 72. Yes, 72. Wow! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> come on, man, you're gonna have to dig something oh, out I'm here, not dude. Very good with oh, that. Come on. Fuck, I'm good! Fuck, that was quick. Oh. Eight plus five. Thirteen. <laughs> Look at him, toddling fish. I'm just going to give up. <laughs> I thought this was, was going to benefit you. How this does this one? benefit me? Well, I thought Michael You're really four years old, 15 years older than me. Doesn't mean I'm better than maths. You probably you probably have way better math skills than me because I, we had shit education four years before you. <laughs> Man, it's worse these days. Anyway, holy <laughs> shit, am I? I'm just going to chill because I've won. All right. Oh, he's won, hasn't he? No, it's 4-0. Oh, is it first to five? Oh, mm. man, that's even longer. I'm chilling. All right. Um, what is 11 plus eight? 19. You are good at maths. If we, that's common. If you don't know that, then you're fucked. Yeah, no, I'm not very fast. All right, wow, yeah, okay. All right, 6-3 to Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm double you. That's more math for you, Matt. I always get disadvantaged. I think the you're, dude. You're what do you mean? Ma, you always How give Michael that? advantage sing, singing. Dude, I went to school with Michael. Hey, trust me, he was not an advantage at fucking maths at school. And yeah, no, I'm terrible at maths. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. Are you really... sure you're not good? You nailed the last two. Dude, that's just fucking addition. basic addition. That, that, that's year three shit. Literally, yeah. Esther. That's what Esther gets on her tests. I had a not tutor. I had a tutor when I was a kid because yeah, I was behind. Know. Caught me back up. School captain. So you were good at maths. Only primary school, but still school captain. You were school captain? Yeah. Yeah, six three now, mate. You gotta pull something out now. I so mean basically I, how are you how are you at spelling? Oh probably not that much better. 
Fucking hell, man. Wow. So that's what it all makes sense now. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> the seat and everything. Next, we have uh, Matt's Tinder Adventures. Oh, fuck. It just goes from one <laughs> down until the next. Oh, that's the only song we didn't do. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. God. We'll have a song for you guys for next week for that one. But I think Matt's, we need Marty involved with that one. Matt's Tinder Adventures is basically Michael and I have taken over Matt's Tinder and um, we're doing all the communicating for him and we're getting the girls that want him and we're funneling to his Snapchat and just setting up dates for Matt. And he's loving it, let me tell you. And we try and talk as much as what we think Matt would say. They started sending nudes via Snapchat and he's denied two dates this Sunday. He has multiple options. He can pick and choose, but he decides to discard of them. Yeah, he said, no, I want more. I want better. Better ones. All right. I didn't say that at all. <laughs> you guys are horrible humans. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> all right, so here's your first one, all right? So this is a lovely young lady. She had um, a picture of a cat in one of her photos. Instant no. So you got a cat in your photo, you're fucked. Yeah, well, cats you, are better than dogs. I've come to fuck realize. Fuck off, hundred percent. Fuck off. I love Tipsy. All right, now um, I did all of these conversations today, so there's not as many as um, last week, and they're not as long. So um, I, I might, I might even just, yeah, I'll have to ta- do some more Tinder conversations throughout the week, so the conversations get a bit longer. Well, so we were on holidays, so it, it will get better. Yeah, yeah. So please excuse the short conversations. So basically, um, you're half-assing my love life. No, 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 no. we've got two no, dates dude, for you I, and I options. Good... You got tit, a big tit sent to you today. One big <laughs> breast. I spent like two hours on this today. Anyway, so Matt starts with, your cat looks sick. Let me take it to the vet. She replies, are we role playing already? Yeah, you're the vet. That helps the cat. You tell me how much it costs, but I can't afford to pay you. So I slip on my latex glove and tell you to breathe. I immediately pull down my pants and underwear. I turn around and bend over. I stretch my cheek apart as hard as I can. Uh, this has escalated. I ignore your comment and shuffle backwards towards you. Do it! I scream as I feel myself start to tear. Holy shit. I grab the speculum and spread you enough to allow two fists. You squeal and call me mummy. I release my cheeks as your fists are inside of me and my cheeks clap shut. I try desperately you, I try desperately to pull out, but I have you now. I start sucking you in, swallowing your arms bit by bit up my ass. <laughs> So she, she hasn't fully, written back she hasn't that. Written back to that. <laughs> Holy shit. So she's she fully got into the role play immediately. So that's a good sign, man. I bet you, you'd, I bet you 100 it. bucks you don't have a photo for me to look at. Well, not on here, no. Once again, this is terrible. But um look, she's one of those ones that covers her face with her phone while she takes a photo so, in the mirror. So two things, once so she's, she's probably a, fucking glamorous. One she's got a cat and two she covers her face in a mirror, so she's an idiot. No, she's beautiful. She doesn't want everyone to see her beauty. And Matt, she in, immediately went to your role play, even though your role play was a little, you came on a little strong. And now think about it this way. Have you ever had a sexier conversation with someone? <laughs> you immediately pull your pants and undies down and pull your ass. <laughs> Go to the next one. Very good, Matt. Very good. All right. <clears throat> All right. This is a continuation from um, last week's, uh, one of last week's conversations. Mm-hmm. So this is the one where it says um, you're you're a big Stanthorpe fan. Oh yeah, yeah, you remember. So um, <laughs> I'm just a massive, massive Stanthorpe fan. It's the coldest place in Queensland. Did you know that? So hectic. I didn't know that. I so love the heat. I'm literally laying in a sauna. Blah blah blah. And then Matt says, "Heat is good, but cold soothes the gills. My gills are nearly frozen when I hunt there." <laughs> Oh, true. How old is your son? And what's his name? And what's his favorite book? I used to babysit cats, so I'm pretty good with kids and shit. All right, so this is where the conversation picks up from. She replies, He's six in a couple of weeks. His name is Jackson, and his favorite book at the moment is the Dogman comic series. We read it every night. Cats are pretty good. I like them. I actually know the guy that writes those books. Dave Pilkey used to live a few houses down from me, and we used to get drunk together and paint. Wow, that's super cool. My son would love to meet him. Me too, actually. Yeah, I can totally set that up for you for like $100 cash. I'll send my bank to you dollars if you can. BSB 068543. <laughs> Account number 26772526. I fucking hit my head so hard on the ceiling fan. I'm so dazed. It's crazy. 
She has not replied. Oh to that. yeah, you think if she replies to that, then she deserves to get her money taken. Yeah, she does. And revealing your information about your kid, you're an idiot. Well, you did ask her. Yeah, she didn't have to tell me though. <laughs> you ask her what? What? It's so innocent. Favorite book. That's fine. She told, she told me her kid's name is favorite book. That's uh, like that's all you need when a predator's fucking trying to pick a kid. <laughs> you pretty much are her kid now. Yeah, I think. Man, you fuck. That was good. All right, this is also a continuation from um, last week, but last week it was a very short conversation. It was that she messaged first, so she said. What investments did the first Browns lose their wealth in? And then you replied, floppy disks, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she, so we pick it up from here. <clears throat> Haha, yes, I do remember floppy disks. At least it wasn't Blu-rays. And why do you want my number? I wish it was Blu-rays. At least then we could have made some of our money back. Floppy disks never really took off. I need your number for tax reasons. How much debt are you in? Just a ballpark figure. Haha, <laughs> just my hex debt. Car loans, credit cards. What's your credit score like? Uh, very interesting way of getting to know someone, Matt. No credit cards. Wow, so basically no high interest debt. How's your rental history? Do you have any references? Uh, what on earth are you asking these questions for? Are you trying to steal my decent identity for fraud? Someone's debt and financial history says a lot about a person. For example, my debt is very high interest, which indicates I've made very poor financial decisions in the past. I'm basically paying interest only and nothing off the principal debt itself. Do you have any assets? What are they valued at? Yes, it can say a lot, but just because someone does or doesn't have debt or assets or not makes them less or more of a human. Definitely not a convert I have with oh, many people. She say that. So you don't have any assets? Are you trying out chapter titles and snippets from the Barefoot Investor? I don't think it's that strange to do a bit of a background check on the person before you start dating them to make sure we aren't wasting each other's time. Like imagine four months into dating, you find out I've got $200,000 high interest debt and barely any assets. You'd be devastated. So how much do you earn after tax? No, I wouldn't be. But it's not my responsibility to pay your debt. Good to know debt, assets, and worth seems to be the only thing you're interested in. Yeah, I hate this girl. If we were to get married one day, my debt would be your debt. So it's good to know <laughs> early on before feelings and hard sex gets involved. A little bit of debt is totally fine and to be expected, but huge high interest debt like I have is absolutely not good. <laughs> Just sell yourself like that? Uh, is it? That's not how I see that. Well, if that's what your end game is, to find a Nigerian prince princess who's funding your debt, then go forth and conquer. I'm not a person. I'm not that person. And I enjoy different conversations other than my assets and net worth. Oh, yeah. Man. Legally, if we share, <laughs> legally, if, if we share everything when we're married, that's how. Look, Trish, I think we, we could be something special. That's why I'm asking all these questions. I will take your word for it that you don't have a huge amount of debt, okay? How's your health? Oh, 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 dude. She, right she hasn't replied to that. No, yeah, that is just to keep replying after the second fucking question. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? How does she not know that it's bullshit? <laughs> I'm just trying to. I put myself in like Matt's mind, and I try and say what he would would say. <laughs> That's not what I would say. Oh, I don't know, Matt. Look, I know you pretty well. Oh. All right, <laughs> next conversation with the lovely Laura. And Matt starts the conversation with, shave my back. <laughs> Depends how hairy it is. May have to wax instead. That's exactly what I wanted you to say. Where's your house? <laughs> I don't really want hair all over my bathroom. <laughs> Where's your house? You can wax me outside on the lawn if that's easier. I need it ASAP though. It's getting dangerous. I'm a walking fire hazard. My house is in Bridgman Downs and yes, I'm quite rich. When can you wax me? If it's getting dangerous, we'll have to get it done as soon as possible. No time to lose. Yeah, so this weekend, Saturday, 3 p.m.? And she's one of the ones that actually did reply and wanted to, but I didn't. I forgot to add that in. So, oh, so she, she actually wanted a date with Matt. On the Saturday? Yeah. So there's a girl on the Saturday and two on Sunday now. So this weekend, you could, you could be, be married. You could be drilling holes everywhere, and that's what you want. You like wow, Matt, and free back shaves is pretty sick. All right, so this remember this is one of the girls who messaged you first said, "Good evening, Matt. How's your week treating you?" And then Matt replies with, "Like a prostitute keeps fucking me hard and without emotion, and then keeps taking my money. Have you got any kids?" <laughs> I do actually. 
Two of them, so I get the money reference. As for the rest of the difference between life and a prostitute is that when a horse screws you, you like it. Laughing face. I actually have that tattooed on me. <laughs> How crazy is that? I want to sing to you if that's okay. <laughs> as if I would say no to someone singing to me, lol. I just sang that song, I'm Like a Bird, as I was thinking about you. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> I couldn't hear it, but I'm sure it was lovely. Yeah, it was. I heard my neighbors crying because it was so raw and real. I could have been one of the top, I could have been one of the 10 tenors. Google it. I chose to try and become a professional athlete instead. And that's all I had time for with that conversation. But that, I feel like it's on to a winner. It's going down a healthy route. That is like, yeah. And there are some just ones I just, these are, there's a few of these where I just, where you message them and then they didn't reply. I wonder why. (laughs) All right. So this girl's name is Charlene. Oh, it's a no already. Who fucking calls their daughter Charlene? It's not her fault. No, and she I mean, actually—it no. isn't her fault. But fuck me. And look, she actually looks up. pretty. Pretty. Look, look at that. Yeah. See. Now oh, he likes it. He went mind. back for more water. All right. So this is what Matt says, knowing that she's like not that bad. She's quite attractive. Mm. Your name is one of the most beautiful sounds. <laughs> I keep repeating your name out loud, Charlene. Charlene <laughs> It just dances <laughs> After I just packed it It just dances around your mouth Like a brick in a dryer <laughs> <laughs> What do you regret most in life? And she didn't reply And then this one here Like a brick in a dryer <laughs> This one she's got uh, fake boobs And her first picture is like her of uh, Just revealing her body So Her name's uh, Rekka Yeah <laughs> and Matt says to her, "Give me a sniff." Oh, and, and she no. didn't write back. She didn't write back. Why couldn't you try with that one? <laughs> Matt, fucking hell! You're so materialistic. Yeah, it's Tinder. The whole thing's <clears throat> materialistic. All right, here we go. So this girl messaged you first. She, her name's Vicky. Just mm-hmm. saying their names. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, names are fine. Hey. Yeah, okay. What's up, Vic Dog? Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure, why not? How's your night? Oh my God. And then it took a few days to reply. So, sorry for the slow reply. I've been hacking at my itch. Have you got a close relationship with your dad? <laughs> hacking at your itch? I did until he died 15 years ago. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so sorry to hear. Let's change the subject to something else. What's your worst habit? Biting my nails. Mine's hacking at my itches. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, oh, yeah. Hacking at his itches. <laughs> Sickening. All right. <clears throat> All right. This girl messaged you first again. And she seems like she's quite like charismatic. So she says, hey, Matt, you've got a great smile. I'm not sure whether I swiped last, but I will message first to avoid the weird standoff. Laughing face. Yeah, I had surgery on my mouth so I could extend my lips up and sideways. Five years ago, my smile was just like a circular hole. When's the last time you cried? Oh, fuck. (laughs) You imagine a circular hole for a smile. Dude, someone's going to (laughs) spot. Someone is going to spot me on the street. It's like I yeah, swapped well, on you and you're yeah, well, I hope They'll be like, treat wow, them with you're respect. So charismatic. Hey, how are you? I'm stretching my mouth open as far as I can with both of my hands. <laughs> the kids next door were fully screaming. It was nuts. Have you got any salt I can have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's like they have no <laughs> idea what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd no reply. All right, here yeah. we go. This one is also... Like, look at this, Matt. Look at this. You'll like this one. She's in, look, a bikini photo to start with. You'd love that. You I love know, that. I can't really see her. She love it. <clears throat> I can see us together down the track with like four dogs and eight cats. Do you want to get some fish together? Crikey. I don't know about eight cats. <laughs> Although anything is possible. Oh. Keen for the four dogs, though. Not for sex or anything, just as regular pets. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is uh, Matt's Tinder Adventures. And one of, can we just say, yeah, so three date offers and a, an ad on Snapchat. And she did send you a picture, didn't she, Matt? 
<laughs> <laughs> so things are improving. It's only week two. It's only fucking week two. And oh. like, we've had the phone for like, you know, three hours in total. So it's like, you know, give it some time, put in some proper effort in. I think we should have some real. I just replied sorry to that lady. All right, guys, no Q&A this week, okay? It's because we, um, we're we filming this podcast before our latest podcast has come out. So there's literally no questions for us to answer. But next week, we'll be back with a bunch of questions. So comment your questions, all right, on the fucking podcast YouTube channel, and we will answer them. And like other questions that other people leave, if you want us to answer those questions, because we answer the most liked questions first. Sorry. All right. All right, let me go pubo box, which, look, we could do the fucking... We might have some pubes. Dude, I feel like we're going to have some pubes. All right, guys, it's time for the pubo box. Do we have a jingle for that shit? No, we don't. No. <laughs> right, we'll have a jingle for that next week. We have the pubo box, and we're going to we're gonna asking everyone to send in their pubic hair so we can glue it on Matt's head on the season finale. All right, we have two items in our pubo box this week. If you want to send us something, it doesn't have to be pubes. It can be anything. Send it to PO Box 256 Tagum 4018. We open everything live. Slow. One at a time. I feel like that's going to be pubes in there. Oh. Bloke's advice has sent us. This oh, isn't good. Oh, shit. They sent us fucking savage gummy bears. Australia's hottest gummy bear challenge. Oh, no. I, I don't think I can do that. My heart will go fucking yeah, nuts. Yeah, I, I'm so done with spicy food. But, Matthew? They're not drug ones. Matthew. No, they're um, spicy. Savage gummy bears. I mean, look. Yes, Matt. Please, Matt. Please. Please, Matt. Do it for the boys. Saturday. For the boys. It's Saturday and it's for the boys. Sniff of the gummies. So we've just got sent in from Blokes Advice. Legends at Bloke Advice. Okay, okay, so they they, they do this as a game. So it's a two player game and you you both take obviously uh, some bites and you've got to hold out for seven minutes without getting any relief. Do you reckon you can Gummy do that? bears must be fully chewed once eaten. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You can play that. Well, you want me to eat one? Oh, I brown. think so. Why I do I have to eat one? Because bloke's you're, advice says, look, you're the, look at their cool stubby holders. You're the, you're the man. You're the chilling man. I'm not they the chilling man. The I suffer every time. Dude, look, oh, they don't the look good. Oh, fuck yeah. We've got a you bottle have all. You get all this apparel. Look, you oh, love well, beers. Look at that. That's, that's actually pretty sick. Nice it's made of metal. And... Fun fact, we've actually did an ad for Bloke's Advice. Oh my God, I just touched out. it with my tongue and it's fucking brutal. Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you very much, Bloke's Advice. Oh. And the Bloke's Advice is still around. Yeah, they've been going for Go yonks. and join their group. We're uh, very closely related. Have some ties to the Bloke's Advice group. That's sick. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks guys. All right, Matt. I don't think I can do it. I touched it with my tongue. And we'll just maybe just like place hell. it on your tongue. I did. So place it on my tongue. Yeah. I reckon just do it. Don't think and do. Shut up. Just swallow it whole. All right, Please, Matt's man. got it on his tongue. Swallow it, it whole. Swallow it whole. Just one chew. One chew. For the boys. For the boys. Saturdays. Are yeah, for boy. the boys, Matt. Come on, Matt. Yes, be Matt. brave. Be yes, brave. Matt. Be brave, Matt. It's already one minute down. It's already one minute down. It's already one minute down. You can do this. You can do this, Brown. You can do this, Brown. You can do this. You're in the chair. You're in the chair. Focus. Focus. Come on, Brown. Come on, Brown, please swallow. Just don't think and swallow. You can do this, Brown. Please, please, Brown. Brown, Brown. Oh, he's going, he's going from white to red. Help me. <laughs> yeah, have a drink. Help me. Have a drink. Have a drink. Oh, he's got his water. Oh, oh wow. Water makes it worse. It's not good. Water makes it worse. <laughs> he's trying to get out of his chair. <laughs> He's trying to get out of his chair. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so <laughs> to get out of his chair. He's got a fucking nothing <laughs> on. He's just, did he just vomit then as he walked out? <laughs> There's a big chunk of spit. Fucking hell, that seems intense. Yeah, fuck that. But yeah, sorry, blokes advice. We just can't do that shit anymore. I've I just not into hot stuff. <laughs> oh man You can hear him fucking whinging that was, from the kitchen That was very good Alright here we go Here's a little letter I don't know who from But it says Michael you nerd We know you're the smartest cunt in Australia Answer this Question What does Han say when Leia first tells him that she loves him A I know B It's about time C I love you too D Yeah I figured 
E, want to fuck? Or F, sorry, I'm fucking your brother. I know. I know. Is that correct? I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, oh it's just a layer figurine. That's for you, Michael. Thank you very much, person who sent that in. Hey. Michael look. will uh, he'll put that on his car. No, I will add it to the little for Kleiner, the, the display cabinet. Thanks, dude. I like, you know, yeah, I hate it, but like I sort of thanks. And um, also, just remember, guys, if you want to send in your pubes, if you need to shave your pubes you, with your Manscape mower, shave them off, put them in a little container, send them through, because um, all of the pubic hair we will be gluing to Matt's skull in the season finale. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, man. Matt loves a movie. Michael thinks he's groovy. Matt loves a movie. Which one will it be today? Hey, Matt. <laughs> and this is a segment where Matt gives Michael a movie to watch, one of Matt's favourites, and Michael reviews it and tells the common man how it is. It's not good. All right. So what was the movie again? Gremlins. Oh, man. Gremlins. Dude. It, I, it's got to be a new rule. And Matt, fuck you. Matt. Fuck you. Your stupid film. It's just so shit. Like, it's... Oh. Okay, imagine this. This is the plot twist in the film. So he gets this stupid, weird-looking creature that's shitter than E.T. and E.T. shit too. And then to multiply it, if you drop water on it, it multiplies. That's the twist. So imagine you get this little creature that's a good gremlin, you put water on it, and then that multiplies the gremlin. What, so, to two? Yep, to three. To, depends on how many drops of water is on the thing. What if you just put the hose on it? Thousands. Really? It's so- What if you throw it in a pool? Yep, that would be like, it would be fucking a plague of these gremlins. Do they kill you? Well, then one of the other rules of the stupid, oh man, it's so dumb. If you feed it after midnight, it goes into a cocoon hibernation state and then hours later comes out as an evil gremlin. All oh, right. So firstly, don't get water on it because it multiplies it. Secondly, don't feed it after midnight. Like when is the time okay to feed it? It's so dumb, dude. Like Matt, I've, I'm pretty sure has a learning difficulty. Like we saw that with his maths and now like, I already knew it with his films. <laughs> He's just doesn't, he's not all there. Like he thinks what's good is shit. It's like what shit is good. It's the other way around. What is good is probably shit to him. Anyway. How was the movie then overall? Oh man, it is honestly like a one out of 10. Like I would have to be zonked out, bong headed, fucked to enjoy that. I enjoyed maybe the sort of 90s or 80s vibe of it. But, oh man, it was just, I was just, yeah, Matt, fuck you, dude. Like honestly, straight up. <laughs> just fuck you for there's a new rule now you've got to start like it's got to be half ass okay to watch because it's shit it was so hard to locate this film that's how shit it was where'd you have to get it it's on stand but I didn't have stand <laughs> oh. Oh. oh it's going milk with a nappy on oh man it was so like it's just shit like it is, a, and it, that changed it, me. the only thing I liked about it is it, it should have been, it was PG, but it was pretty naughty for a PG film. Like there was a lot of like murder scenes and dark jokes in it. And it was like, I don't know, risk gave, but that's was the times back then. You can, know, you could risk being a little edgy. Now everyone gets a bit offended and everyone's got their own truths. So you can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> So it was shit. Gremlins yeah. was fucking shit, man. Very shit. It's a one. No, it's not even a one. It's a zero. Like it is. If there was nothing to watch or that to watch, nothing to do even. If I had to just sit there and stare at a wall, and just that—that that was my day. I'd rather that than watch Gremlins. Are you taking this in, Matt? So you need to be better. At like at least uh, three hundred. I got. I got into a bit. I enjoyed it. It was cool. You different. Musketeers is second in all of these films. And that says something. That was so bad. All right, man. So fuck you. What do you what's what's for Michael next? What movie? Get in here, Aaron. 
Doesn't he look like Aaron? It does. <laughs> Aaron. Talking to your mic. <laughs> or Ellen. He looks like an Ellen. Oh, man. It oh, was, yuck, dude. I had to watch it on a Sunday morning. You know how annoying that was? That's the only you time. You just gotten fucking high as shit. Yeah, I'm, I've already... The whole week I was fucking high. And I ran out of cookie. What are you going to give me? And please, don't... Like, I know even you... You hate that film. You're trying to get under my skin with that. Gremlins. What film? Gremlins. Is shit. You gave it a five out of ten. That is that is a fucking mental disorder. If you think that is five out of ten. It's the worst one I've given you, I think. It is fucking not a five. It is a zero. It's a minus. You have issues if you think that is worth watching. Make it good. What is quality? We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to do it. At some point we're gonna have to do it. But we I'm just gonna do it now. We're going to watch the first ever Fast and Furious film. How the, the fuck? The original. You don't like that. Mm. That's the only one I like. How? I just like it. There's actual stunts in it. There's Everything's real. There's no crazy, you know, I'm driving out of a plane and landing on a mountain thing. It's it's pure. It's pure Fast and Furious. Wow. It's As race it car be. driving. Is fucking cunts racing their cars. My they ran out of money when they were actually making it. So when they do the big street race scene at the start, it's actually all people who they ask to show up out of the goodness of their heart with their race cars. Whoever knows a fact like that is just a loser. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you didn't have that in your head, man. Don't I, I, well, I used to have the DVD and I used you to have that in your features. head, but you don't know what eleven times. Oh, plus. oh I want to bash you, <laughs> can't you say? I just have the DVD and I watch the special features. Oh. You fucking loser! <laughs> oh no! He fucking knows that, but he doesn't know what eleven plus eight is. <laughs> yeah! God damn it, man! You bully me! <laughs> oh man! All right, you, guys, you, you Fuck, torture man. me with the shit like that. Oh, Fast and Furious number one is the only one that's actually decent. The rest can all eat it. Yeah. All right, stay tuned for next week, guys. Michael, it's, it's the only one I will make you watch. I promise. Oh, fucking hell! All right, there you have it. Fast and Furious next week. All right, guys. Oh, time for a prank call. So, so, can you be more? so affected? Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha 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 ha. It's prank call time. <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's, it's, very something, good. it's something different. Right? All right, guys, this week yeah. we're going to call a puppy preschool, right? And as uh, Arnold Fine, and Arnold Fine's going to see if he can get his little piglet uh, signed up. Hello, Gibbert speaking. Oh, hello, uh, Debra. Uh, my name is Arnold Fine. Uh, you have a dog uh, train uh, for puppy, huh? Yes. Uh, if you go on to the Bonnie's website, Bobby's um, uh, uh, dog website. I'm just trying to think what can it's I do? Uh, can I do on the phone? Uh, my computer. Uh, very old and uh, internet down. I uh, not know how to uh, fix. I, uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, I, I just call to see uh, when you have a new start for a puppy train. Okay. Um, if you could hold the phone for a minute. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I, get, I'll get Peter's phone number okay, for you. Okay, okay. So get Hang the Peter. Peter file. Okay, I call yes. uh, Peter. Okay. And, yes. Uh, and he helped me with uh, booking uh, he training, will. Huh? Yes. Yes. Just tell him um, that your computer's down and you couldn't do it online. Okay. Okay. I tell and him. And he'll fix you up. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very uh, helpful. Huh? You'd uh, sound You're like very welcome a and kind, happy Easter uh, to you. Fresh person. Uh, very friendly. I admire uh, your voice. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You have good Easter. I uh, go uh, cook pork. For family, okay. Oh, beautiful. Yes, nice. Yes, uh, and pork. Lovely. I love good okay. roast My pork. wife is sick. She uh, coughing and uh, she go to hospital, but they say, uh, no, no, nothing we can do. So I need to look after a wife and uh, the pig has uh, six or uh, seven uh, piglet. And they flick oh. around. They have a new piglet, uh, and that's why I call to see if uh, you maybe uh, train uh, piglet and dog 
uh, because <laughs> because uh, piglet uh, misbehaved, they flick around and they run around in the bedroom and uh, poo and uh, make sound and uh, keep uh, my wife awake, huh? Oh, no. Yes, I know. But uh, anyway, I call a Peter, okay? And I see what yeah. you say. I see what kind of man Peter is, huh? Uh, you're loving. He's a very nice man. Yeah, okay. If he anything like you, then I am very happy with your service, okay? I think you're very Beautiful. special. I think you're very special. Beautiful. Okay? okay, I love you. Okay? Thank you very much. That's okay. I love you. Uh, good Easter. Pork. Will do. Pork. Wonderful. Pork. Okay, we'll talk again soon sometime. We'll do, okay? We catch up maybe coffee two, three weeks. I call again, huh? Okay, no worries. Okay, okay, bye. Right, bye. bye. Pork. See ya. Pork. Pork. Oh, oh dude, oh, that oh. is fuck. That was so <laughs> hard to deal with then, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, Pork. Pork. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I guess Peter that's, is the answer. That's part one. I wonder if that's even just usable. Hello. Hello. Uh, I speak with uh, Peter. Huh? Hello. Hello, Peter. Uh, Debra uh, sent me uh, your number. I hope uh, that's okay. I uh, sure. I have a computer uh, broken. I drop uh, off uh, kitchen bench. It uh, snap in. Uh, <laughs> I cannot uh, book online uh, for puppy uh, school. Huh? So uh, right. I uh, call to see maybe if I uh, book uh, over the phone. <laughs> you can you can send me a text. Okay. Uh, when you start uh, train the dog? When what time? Huh? Uh, what what day would you like to train? I uh, free most uh, day. The uh, high uh, priority for me to train uh, my animal. Uh, so uh, when when next available, I bring in. Huh? I have a three, okay. three or four. I have three or four that need a train. Three or four dogs. Uh, pick uh, baby piglet. Um, maybe baby piglet. Excellent. Six, seven. We <laughs> call. Why you love uh, piglet? <laughs> I uh, have uh, trained a pig before. A pig dog. Uh, pig uh, much smarter. Uh, and uh, the dog. The dog do not know difference. Huh? No difference. None at all. Yeah, so when can start? Huh? Same thing. Yes. Um. Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Let me get my pen. What time? Uh, what time would you like to start? I bring in maybe uh, nine uh, nine morning. I can bring in. Uh, are you going to bring all of the pigs or just one? Yes, no, all four pig. I train uh, same time. Pick is very easy. It's very easy with training. I've seen before. I've seen many, maybe uh, 20, 25 piglet, okay, train yeah. to uh, not to nearly standard of a dog. Right. I have seen. I know I'm not laughing here, Peter. Debra say you're a good man. Debra say you're a good man, and she uh, say you hear me out. Huh? Yeah, I, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Um, okay. I've just... I've, I've just I've never heard of it before. It, uh, you train with the same thing, uh, with the treat or with the um, toy uh, and uh, the pick. Uh, very uh, response. It uh, Sometimes the seat, uh, you teach them to come and to stay. Uh, you need to understand, Peter, uh, pick a dog. Uh, it's uh, the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, well, if you send me your details, your phone number and your, your 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 number, I will text you back some start times. Okay. So it am uh, not good. Uh, no, but I'll have to text you back, right? So I'll have to have a look. And no, I you know it depends if you want to train one on one. Um. So. I, I mean, I must admit, I don't, I've never trained a pig, right? So Okay, I, t uh, I tell you, Peter, I promise, okay, it's uh, the same thing, okay? The way you train a uh, dog, 
the way you train a uh, pig. They very uh, intelligent. I have seen uh, my pig uh, sing song. I have seen uh, my pig uh, help with uh, clean kitchen. Uh, I've seen a pig get a mail for uh, my mailbox in the morning. Uh, they very intelligent uh, creature. I I breed pig my whole life. I, I've been Excellent. around pig. Uh, or do you be surprised uh, just how uh, smart the pig is? Okay, much smarter than my wife. Uh, she's sick. <laughs> My wife is a sick in the head, okay? She uh, not not run around. She lie down. She big uh, fat. She have uh, one uh, breast. Uh, and the pig is uh, my life. And the pig is my life. And uh, the pig help me around the house, okay, Peter? You sound uh, very friendly, Peter. But uh, when, the, when the training comes, I need you to be uh, professional. Yes, yes. <laughs> well... Oh, I know you've got to be one of my friends, but it, this is very good. I mean, it's yes, we can very, be very friends. Good. We can be friends, Peter, if you like. But um, I'm not. Uh, I... Okay, all right. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, how much um, you charge for four pick? Huh? How much you charge for four pick uh, train? <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, listen here, Snake, okay? You don't laugh in my <laughs> face, okay? I come to you with business. I have legitimate uh, money, and you're laughing in my f my face, Snake. Okay, I don't, uh, I don't understand why you do that. Uh, maybe I come uh, with uh, my wife, huh? and maybe you train my wife. <laughs> maybe. Uh. Maybe. Okay, so if you have deal or not, you laugh in my face, you disrespect me, but I sound funny, ha ha, I come from not here, so you laugh, 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 at my, laugh at my face. Okay, Deborah's so oh, nice. I she not a laugh, eh? She gave me your number, Peter, she say, I call Peter, he a friendly man, and she laugh in my face, like a shocker freaking, you freaking, you freaking, I come to you uh, here, to your country, for uh, six months. I have a problem with everybody, eh? Except for Deborah, and now uh, you speak to me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he started getting a bit worried at the end. <laughs> oh my god. Deborah. Deborah's the only lady that's been nice to you. <laughs> You want to have a coffee with her in a couple of weeks. Wow. <laughs> Dude. I he could not stop laughing. I love Arnold Fine when he goes gibberish. <laughs> yeah, that was some intense <laughs> Eastern Europe gibberish. Oh, oh my God, dude. I reckon he got scared at the end. He's like, fuck, this might be legit. And then I hung up. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe, and give us a five-star review on Spotify. Tell your brothers and sisters about us, please. Don't eat those gummy bears. Whatever you do. Yeah, are we up to 2K yet on five-star reviews on Spotify? I, don't, I haven't looked. Let's have a look now. Man, imagine that. Wouldn't that be... Everyone's starting to do things. It's really good. We're working as a team. What family, were we at originally? Love, lust, sexual. Hey? No, 1.9 still. Okay, Doesn't not really. I take everything back. I said, let's try now. If we can get that to 2K, man... That would be touche. Uh, oh, guys, we're the best. 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 We're the best.